How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. We are talking today about collaborations on YouTube. Why? How? Is it worth it? What have I done? <laughs> I think the biggest thing about collaborations when I first start is I really need to know who they are like and kind of build a little bit of a friendship with them. By creating a friendship with them, it creates like this like, it breaks the ice. So when we film, we can turn it up you know for the cameras and like make it funnier and it depends on who you are obviously but for me that's how i am like i need to get to know them a little more i did some collaborations in the past i did one that's coming to mind right now with this professional mermaid it was really funny because we never did anything like that and she she's got a great channel I'll put the link in the description and the actual video i was definitely in no shape to be in the water with a tail attached to me but it was something i never did before and I, that's the best part is that you're you're putting yourself into situations that you might not be in you've never been in i got to meet somebody new it's a new friend a new person i know now mind you she was also looking for a collaboration like all month she was collaborating with new people so i kind of was very lucky in that sense that she was actually looking for someone i mean honestly why would you do it and how would you do it why i mean i think the biggest thing is first of all to grow your network grow your youtube network that's what that's what i want to do i want to just find a whole bunch of people that do vlogs i mean honestly the other reason would be exposure right <laughs> exposure having the opportunity to be exposed on someone else's channel it's huge and vice versa so what i do is i usually reach out to them i usually see if there's a little email address on their about page on youtube and if there isn't or if there is whatever i usually i still tend to like like to reach out to them on instagram for some reason it it, it feels more personal they they respond quicker Ooh, i can see how people get lost here I've decided to go right into the woods. <laughs> Lately, what I've been doing is going on Facebook groups. I have, there's a Facebook group that's like for Vancouver vloggers. And I think I'm pretty sure there's got to be a group in every single city or most cities. Like just look it up on Facebook. See if there's people out there that are willing to meet up with you. Take your chance. Just go and like it's a great opportunity. People, it's always fun. You know, you have to, you do have to go through a lot of channels, a lot of videos and see like who can work with you and who, you know, which one works with your channel and similar sub count, similar humor maybe. Will the people watching your videos find this person just as funny? And I don't think the video needs to be that complicated. You just have to make it into two parts, your part, their part. Your part has to be, if you're gonna be first, it has to be like, exciting enough at the end that the person that's watching wants to click on that other person's video like you're that's the point of the collaboration you're collaborating so that way you are pushing that other person's channel I mean and to be honest it's like it could be really simple they could just be sending you footage you send them footage they can put it in a, a vlog that they were thinking about doing maybe like you wanted I don't know your opinion on something honestly I like collaborations I am looking for someone uh, constantly looking for people to do collaborations with if you're in the Vancouver area and you want to do a video together message me Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have done a collaboration in the past. Like always, you guys keep our vlog life alive. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on Saturday. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be funny.